screen. <laughs> we are live, Les. We're live. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> we can't hear you. Say something again, Les. It's like your audio went. We can't hear you. <laughs> Try now. Hello, how are you? <laughs> We're great. How are you? I'm I'm great and grateful. Been having a challenge sleeping. That's that's been major with all uh, the things that's going on. Understand. Been, yeah, this has really, really been challenging for me. And but the other thing is that just we in a a special place, I feel spiritually. Uh, my my sister Margaret Ann reminded me of a quote that I wrote and used often in the past. That she said, I haven't heard you say this recently. And the quote was, in life, many times you will have an experience that shakes the very core of your being. And we run to God only to discover that it's God that's doing the shaking. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the, the shaking and the, the chaos, the, the fear, the uncertainty, all the things that we are experiencing now, that I remember Wayne Dyer said, there's a spiritual solution to everything. And that we have to, to know that there's something, there are things going on that's bigger than us and that we must have faith and trust and be actively engaged in life, be concerned, but not consumed, but also have a strategy for, for in the meantime, rebuilding lives. We have millions of people who have lost their jobs. What's the number of people now? What's the statistics of people who've lost their jobs? The last I saw was 40 million just in the U.S. alone. Yes. And, and then you think about the businesses that are going under and jobs that will not be coming back. And according to the Department of Labor, it was projected due to artificial intelligence that over 47 million people before the coronavirus would be losing their jobs before because of artificial intelligence and cheap labor abroad. So we're in a special place, but also it's, it's, a, it's an opportunity. It's a time for, for one to be concerned with what's going on, be an active force to help to correct many of the injustices that exist. We know it is very clear that law enforcement, I, I, I've said yesterday in an editorial I created that we don't want to become that which we are fighting against. Lawlessness by law enforcement officers that we know that in, in our community and people of color community, they don't, their interest is not to serve and protect, but to terrorize and to kill. And so I believe that when we look at society, society is created by people and can be changed by people. That's why protest is very important. And Frederick Douglass said, power concedes nothing without a demand. And so it's very important that we, we continue to protest, but also understanding that looting does not represent who we are. And there are people who will take advantage of what's going on now. And, but we must not allow that to overshadow what, what the real issue is and, and be actively engaged and working continuously and not lose our commitment through frustrations, disappointments, and setbacks. We will always encounter in attempting to change the way that we function as a society as we fight against systemic racism and social injustice. And, and the other piece is we have to work to help people to rebuild, reclaim, and to reset their lives. The millions of people who have lost their jobs, who have perhaps are perhaps dazed and staggering with all that's going on in the midst of the coronavirus, in the midst of the George Floyd killing, 
and murder. In the midst of that, finding meaningful ways in which you can provide for yourself and your family and your friends. That's major. And so today we have a special guest that I want you to meet, Alicia Little, and she has special guests with her because people are looking for some answers. What can I do um, to begin to plug back into the economy and, and rebuild my life? A lot of people are wrestling with that issue. There are people I've talked to who've been calling the Unemployment Compensation Office for over three months and haven't been able to get through. So there are people who are looking for, what can I do next to find a way to provide for my self and my family. So Alicia, would you take it please? Because I like to hear you have special guests here, you have an answer and you have people who have gone through the experience of, of rebuilding their lives and taking their lives in another direction. Who do we have with us, Alicia? Absolutely, let me introduce them. Um, first we have Miss Layton Price. Layton, say hi to everyone. <laughs> Layton is joining hi. us. From Hey, she's joining us from Jamaica and she'll share her amazing story. We have Tosh. Tosh, wave and say hello. <laughs> We've got Tosh. She's joining us from the UK. Hello. hello. She's from Tanzania, but lives in the UK now. We have Miss Raina. Raina, say hello to everyone. Hi, everybody. Raina hello. is in the US. She's in Florida, but she's from Venezuela. Um, and then we have Amanda, also from Jamaica, same as Layton. Amanda, say hello to everyone. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hello. So we, we have some amazing stories to share. And even more important than that is the strategies of how these ladies that are here with us today built their businesses. And now they all work online and they're all full-time online workers with amazing stories. So on that note, we'll start off with Leighton. Leighton, are you ready? Okay, before you do that, I want to encourage- I was born yeah. Yeah, hold just a minute. Yes, hold just a minute. I want to encourage all of you, if you or someone you know is looking for ways in which they can restart their lives, where they, where they can begin to control their own personal economy, where they can begin to pick themselves up, dust themselves off, and start life anew, I want you to like this page and share it. Like it and share it with as many people as possible because they're gonna come away with some tools and some steps that they can sink their teeth into that will allow them to begin to start earning money using a different way in a different kind of global economy. And so we have a special guest. We have four people who are experiencing and living what Alicia, and I, I really want to call you Dr. Alicia Little, Dr. Alicia Little has created helping people to plug back into their economy. So we got people watching from Belgium, from Kenya, from around the world, from South Africa. So I, I want you to listen and, and good morning, how are you? And, 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 and take notes and become a part of a movement of helping people to restore their lives. So continue now, ma'am. Yeah, powerful. And and I, yes, there are people from all over the world. So if you type in where you're joining us from, that would be amazing as well. So great to see people from all over the world. And as Cleone says, it's about the global economy. So we're gonna talk about the global economy. Leighton, are you ready? I was born ready, Alicia. <laughs> All right, Leighton. So I want you to start off by telling us a little bit about your story and then talk about what you do online. So start off by telling us about your story. All right, guys. So my name is Leighton Price, and I'm from the beautiful island of Jamaica. Now, I met Alicia in 2015 when I was searching for a way to start earning money on the internet, right? I've always been watching movies, movies. The concept came from movies that I could earn online. So I decided to search for it in Jamaica. I searched and I found out about Alicia's classes. But before I started searching, let's go back a little. So I'm a mother of two. I had my two kids in my teenage years, right? And after 
before having my children, I used to work in a wholesale. A wholesale is like a supermarket then. I used to work in a supermarket before I started having children. While having children, I was still working in this supermarket. But then I realized the minimum wage money that I was getting paid was not enough to take care of me and my kids. So I worked at the supermarket for seven years, seven long years. <laughs> I could barely take care of my kids. I could not buy clothes. I could barely buy food. I could barely send them to school. It, I was suffering. It was awful. Right? But then upon the seventh year, I decided that I have to find a different a way to start earning online and start making a lot of money. So that's when I came upon Alicia. I went to one of her classes. And she taught me in this class how to be a transcriber, right? Now, a transcriber is a person who listens to audios and videos and type them out into, into words format. However, when I was, before I went to the class, I called, I called the company, Alicia's company, Intern Income Jamaica. When I called them, I asked them what would they be teaching me to do online. They said, come in, we'll teach you according to your skills. I was like, I don't have any skills. What will I be doing? I'm just a cashier. I've been just working in a supermarket for the past seven years. I don't know anything. However, they said, come in. We'll teach you. There is something here for you. I did not have the money to go to the class at that time. I didn't even own a computer for myself. But I decided that this is what I want. I want my life to change. And in order to, for my life to change, I need to do something different. So I went ahead and I borrowed the money from my landlady. Very nice lady. She lent it to me and I took the risk and I went to Alicia's class at Intern Income Jamaica, right? When I was working in the wholesale, I used to make like $390 for the whole entire year, right? So that's like $50, $60 per week. So after I left so, the Layton, let's hmm. stop right there for people who are not from Jamaica. So you're saying that you are making about $60 a week, about $380 a month. Now, how much did you make online for the month of May? Let's say last month while all this is going on in the world. Last month, I made over $4,900 US dollars in just one month. <laughs> all right, not bad. So you made your complete yearly salary in one month last month with what you were doing before. So let's give right. let's give the the listeners some tips on what you're doing so they know this is something they can also do. Now, first of all, do you have a high school certificate? You said nope. you don't have nope. And you're, I know you, you mentioned that you have two kids, you have two kids before you were the age of 19 and your living conditions, you had, you had told us that story, um, before, tell us a little bit about where you were living before you, you know, as you started to be an online entrepreneur, that the story on the side of the gully was so impactful. Lead us back there for a minute. Oh my God. So I don't, all right. So I used to live in the ghetto here in Jamaica. I don't know if they have, they have ghettos in every country, right? But I think our ghetto situation is very deplorable. I used to live in the ghetto. I lived in a little makeshift house. The half of it is concrete and the half of it is board, right? And I used to live on the gully bank. And right on the gully bank, you know, in the ghetto, there's no proper sanitation. So they throw pampers, they throw food, they throw everything in that gully. And I used to live right on the bank right there. So all that scent used to come up to me. The roofing was not good at all. Whenever rain falls, we have to be shifting everything to one side. I had to be moving up the furniture in the house, even though there wasn't much furniture. But I had to be moving like the bed and the clothes and other stuff so that the water could um would have wet the bed. So it was terrible. We, I did not have a bathroom either. I'm kind of whispering and saying this. <laughs> Although it makes no sense to whisper. But I did not have a bathroom. It was a good thing that I was working at the wholesale, so I used to use the wholesale bathroom because there was no proper sanitation at home. My condition was horrible. But I looked into myself and I decided that I do not want to live like this for the rest of my life. So I have to find a way to get out of this situation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go, go Layton. So if somebody wants to take up transcription, I know 
Les is going to talk about it in a minute. We've got a free training. Les and I will be um, doing it. But if somebody wants to take up what you're doing, basically you get paid to type for people. And now your model is that you're not even doing it yourself. You have other people that are doing it for you. All right. It's great. So transcription. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit right, about so it. All right. So transcription is basically listening to audios and videos and typing it out. When I just got started as a transcriber, I um, used to get paid like $5 for a file, right? But as I grow over time, I'm able to charge more for that file. And because I'm able to charge more, I'm able to pay somebody else to do the file and make a profit. So now in the beginning, I used to work long hours. I used to be up from 8 a.m. sometimes to 2 a.m. the next morning, just typing, typing, typing away. But I was happy to do it why because i was happy about the idea that i could stay at home and actually make money but even though i was just making five dollars and ten dollars i was just so excited and it's a good thing i never turned my back on those five dollars and ten dollars because over time i'm making more now right <laughs> so once you, can, once you can listen and once you can type you can be a transcriber yes Right. So how many of you are motivated by her story? If you are, just say, you know, congrats, give her, uh, I'm really proud of her. So just, you know, give her a minute to congratulate her in the comments. She sees them. So her story of, you know, 19, two kids by the time she was 19, teen mom making $60 a week to now making almost 5,000 uh, US dollars a month, which is excellent in Jamaica. In fact, how many of you would love to be making 5,000 US dollars a month, right? Not bad. Um, so congratulations, Leighton, and stick with us. We're going to come back to you. But tell us, um, just give everybody maybe two tools that you use to make transcription work for you. Because as Les mentioned in the beginning, like unemployment is so high globally and people are looking and people are typing in the comments like people globally are looking for solutions. So uh, just give two two tips on, you know, becoming a transcriber. I know it's a lot more than two tips, but two quick tips. What would you tell people? All right. All right. So once you decide to become a, become a transcriber, it's not a pushover. Yes, it's typing and listening, but there are more, there's more to it. You have to fix grammar. You have to ensure sentences read fluently. You have to put in proper punctuation, and you have to ensure that the file is done accurately, right? So two tools that you can use to help with your transcribing, you have O-Transcribe. And what O-Transcribe allows you to do is to upload a file, the audio or video that you got to get transcribed and to listen and type it out. But guess what? There are more amazing tools than O-Transcribe. We have um, one called temi.com. And what Temi allows you to do is to upload the file and guess what it does? It types it up for you. <laughs> and that makes it work much easier, but you can't stop there. Once a tool types it up for you, you have to just go over it, you know, and proofread, edit, correct your sentences, put in your punctuation, correct grammar. It can be done. And I know you can do it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, um, Leighton. Thank you so much. Stick around. I'm going to bring Raina up next um, because Raina, as a mother, she is a virtual assistant and she does amazing work as a VA and does social media work for clients. And Raina, what I would love for you to talk about is I know that you're a mom of four um, and that I mentioned in the beginning that you live in the U.S., you're from, from Venezuela. Tell us a little bit about uh, the services that you offer to clients online and, you know, how someone who's interested can get started. Uh, we can't hear you, Raina. Maybe take out your headphones. I think no, I'm, a, oh, I'm on mute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I offer, hi. I Wait, offer, no, no, no. Come on to, I don't know how many people we have um, that are Spanish speaking right now, but you've got to represent a little bit better than that. Hi, hola, hi, como están todos? <laughs> All right, now you can start. <laughs> okay. So um, I started um, off as a VA and then got onto, into social media management. And um, as a VA, I help people scheduling things on their calendar, keeping them organized. I do email management. 
I do all sorts of things. I mean, I think that everything is figureoutable. And if you think you can't do it, you go on Google. Like Lorette and Alicia love to say, Google is your best friend. So <laughs> I anything that I don't know what to how to do it, I either go on Google and Alicia also has amazing classes that help you with any skill set. Um, I also do a lot of social media management and Alisa also has a class for that. I took it, it's amazing and it helps a lot with the schedule. I schedule things, I do graphics on Canva. Um, I come up with captions, hashtag research and the more you do it, the better you get and the more uh, confidence you have in yourself. So that's what I'm doing from home. I get to stay home with my kids, especially right <laughs> now that, you know, with homeschooling and everything that's going on, it was a, a great, Thing to have something going on when so many people are out of a job. Yeah, agree. And um, Raina, so some of the people here um, are from Les Brown's page, right? And some of the content that's on his page, you are actually responsible for. <laughs> so tell yes. us some of the tools that you use to post for Les on Facebook and Instagram. So someone else who might want to do social media for a company or a brand or someone like Les would, you know, have some insight in some of the things that they can do to get started. Maybe a tool that you use for scheduling and also for graphics. And we all see the the posts that you put on his page, which are like pictures with with audio on top of it. How do you do that? Tell us, give us some tips. Well, I use, depending on, on the account, there's several platforms out there. There's Buffer, there's Creator Studio, that's part of Facebook that you can use for scheduling. Um, there's Hootsuite also. I use Buffer. And I also use this app that the the, the audio, it's a great app. It's called Wave, W-A-V-V-E. And it's okay. great. You can get audios from Les Brown or from Alicia and you embed them in a graphic and it plays on, on the post. Um, I, for graphics, I love Canva. It's so user friendly. They have a free account. You don't have to pay for the, for the pro, even though the pro is not that expensive. Um, but it's your best friend. You can find beautiful stock photography in there. You can get templates to get ideas of how to put posts together. It's a great, great tool to have in your backpack. Right. And so I know that one of the ways that you find clients are in Facebook groups. Yes. Talk a little bit about Facebook groups, because for everybody who's on here listening right now, that's a great resource for them to find some clients that they might want to, to do work for. So talk to us about that. Well, on Facebook, there are so many Facebook groups of people that are, you know, uh, online business owners that need help. So what you do is you find some that um, you feel that your ideal client hangs out in and you can go in there and don't start, you know, spamming people with, I'm a VA, I can work for you. You, you build relationships in there. You go in there and comment on certain posts that you feel that you should be commenting on. And if someone asks uh, for advice, you can go in there and you know, if you know an answer to a question, answer it. So you establish yourself as the expert. And right. then from building those relationships, you start, you know, some some of them have like promotion days and, and those promotion days, you can say, um, I do this for a living and you can, you know, share a post or share your 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 portfolio of the skills you have. So it's a great way to find clients, especially ideal clients, which are, I think are very important to have. Right. So um, thanks so much for that, Raina. And if you guys have any questions for Raina, <laughs> then definitely type it into the comments. But, you know, Les's big thing today is so many people are unemployed and looking for opportunities. And Raina, what you're telling us is that hey, you can actually be an assistant to a company. You can do social media posts for their page. Like there's so many things that you can do and you can find your ideal clients in Facebook groups. So go into Facebook groups, add value, people post in there when they're looking to hire. But that's really one of your strategies is to be in Facebook groups. Now, for the ladies, do you have, I know that you're in a few of these lady Facebook groups. Do you have any Facebook groups that you would recommend? Boss Moms is excellent. Lots of okay. lots of activity, lots of people there. Freelancing females is a great one that I love. Okay. Um, living the laptop life. 
is another one that you can look up. Those are great ones to be in and be part of. Okay. Hopefully you guys got those tips down, but a really good tip as we're, as we're all looking to start our own online businesses. So um, thank you. People are saying that you are amazing. <laughs> so thank you so much for that. Raina, um, Raph, Raphael says, how long have you been doing this, Raina? Um, I've been doing this for almost two years now. Almost two years. Okay. Yes. And then, so Michael says, Facebook groups, what about guys? So I know that there's some Facebook groups like uh, small businesses or entrepreneur Facebook groups who are great for both men and women to get into that people are always looking for, um, you know, people to do work for them. So I'm part of one that's called small business entrepreneurs, um, small businesses and entrepreneurs. I think that's what it's called. And it is a crazy group, but the, the best thing to do would be to search for groups. So go into Facebook and type in group names of the people that you think would be your ideal client as Raina gave us that tip and you will find people who are looking and companies who are looking to hire. So um, thanks for that, Raina. Uh, so another question, Davis says, estimate and salary for a VA. I know it's kind of all over the place, um, but what have you seen online from the low end to the highest end? Um, I've seen from $10 an hour up to like $30 an hour. It just depends okay. on the company, the person, where you are, it's, it's, it varies. A few people are asking you to say the names of those Facebook groups again. Can you do that one more time? Okay. Freelancing females, boss moms, and living the laptop, laptop life. Living the laptop life. Um, and then last question from Shanti Pretty. How did you work out your pricing when you just started? Oh, well, it de I do packages. So yeah. depending on the amount of hours you're going to be doing on a, on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis, you set up an hourly, uh, an hourly range and then you make packages. So if you're going to work like for 10 hours a month, you, you know, say set an hourly, an hourly price and then add them into the, those 10 hours. Okay. Always have a buffer also. So it depends on, on what you feel comfortable um, charging and then move on from there. Awesome. Thank you, Raina. All right. Giving everybody some tips and some inspiration. Let's bring Tosh on now. So Tosh, are you there? Hi, Tosh. We can't hear you. You're hello. muted. I'm here. Hello. <laughs> um, hello. Hello. And Tosh, you are in the UK right now, but born in Tanzania, right? That's right, yes. Right. Tell us a little bit about what you do online. Okay, what I currently do, I when I joined in 2018, I was actually doing this on the side, um, but I started doing this full-time last year in 2019 when I lost my job. Um, and basically I'm just doing freelancing and I'm offering different services also on the different platforms as a freelancer. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you're doing this full time. Now you had posted something on Facebook. I think it's that your was it that your husband had lost his job, um, with the COVID-19 situation. So tell us a little bit about that and how you have now stepped up to be the, the, um, you know, only income earner in the household and how this has, has done well for you. Yes, yeah. Um, obviously, my husband was working um, until a week before the lockdown. Um, obviously, they had to send him home. And we thought, okay, it's not going to be a problem. He'll go back soon. And then I think he dawned on us that that's it. He's lost his job as a contractor. He's okay. not going to get paid whilst he's at home. So, and because I had this that I started doing, I wasn't putting so much effort in it. And then we decided, you know what, let's go full on because it's bringing some sort of income. And even prior to that, actually, my husband was doing the, the transcription jobs. Um, he was doing the editing. And I had heard that, you know, some, it depends. Some people are not very good with transcription, but he blew my mind. He's actually <laughs> than I am. <laughs> I just don't do any of it anymore. I just give it to him. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so, yeah, so he does that. 
Yeah. So you two came together and now husband and wife working together um, to to run your online business. So I love that. I didn't even know that part about your story. But that's a great thing. And do you think that he'll be going to seek a job when, you know, this is over? Or will you guys build your online business bigger together? What do you do? You, do you know? What are your plans? I, I know because he actually told me this morning and he's here. He can actually say it himself. He confirmed. Where is he? Tell him to come on. Let's hear him. Come on, come on my husband and confirm what you told me this morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where is he? Let's oh, let's 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 this morning, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, hi there. Hi. <laughs> it's good to see you. You too. Uh, yeah, well, what, oh, I'm going this way. Yeah. Yes. What happened was um, I actually got a phone call from one of the temp agencies um, that I'd worked for at the start of the year. And uh, that temp job had finished and I'd been doing contract work after that. And then obviously that finished with COVID. And uh, they rang me up this morning um, with an offer for a job because they, they're doing what I've been doing before. Mm -hmm. But truthfully, the, 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 the potential for this transcript well not transcription but uh seo or the one that i'm learning up right now is website building um is so great and uh and so much more there that uh, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bother going back to a standard nine to five job uh, i don't <laughs> think <laughs> we love that. It, it, it's just in, in many ways it's just not worth my, my time in, in, honestly i love, I love that time. you know i'm enjoying far more doing this and obviously you know i get to stay with my wife as well so <laughs> how has it been working together now that you you know you both are working together and your plans are to just keep building your own business together how has that been as a couple um <laughs> you learn to make accommodations yeah uh, i mean I, I knew very much that um being married being a husband was um, unwrong so i had to learn to, to to get that you know i'm always wrong so i had to learn to, to to make sure that i realized that properly and learn to give tash um her space and even more so because of the personal relationship uh, the way that works um when working with clients or customers or whatever you, you've obviously got to be super diplomatic yeah and you just have to scale that right up when you're working with uh, someone that you love as well so you know yeah. in order not to, to destroy that relationship so it's 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 been interesting sort of trying to hold back because i'm very much a you know if it comes in my head i'm speaking it and and um and my voice rises a bit and and tash starts stop shouting at me and i'm thinking well, i didn't shout it's just the way i am <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's asking what your name is she called you hubby but we don't know what your name is oh sorry I, i'm uh, david <laughs> hi david hi david uh, so yeah, hi. you're getting a I'm lot of comments everybody. yes where mm -hmm. everybody is saying that they love your story and um you're really yeah. you know talking about looking at other options and now the fact that you are not going back to your to a nine to five, but are going to push this and keep learning. And um, I just, I love this story and I expect to just hear so many more great things from you guys. So thanks for sharing. We didn't mention, sorry, Alicia, we're not just yeah. doing transcription. We've devolved into SEO. We do search engine optimization. Yeah. And we do websites. So we do website designs. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and he's great. He's absolutely great. He's been building a couple of our away. clients' websites uh, from scratch. And all this has been, we actually started doing the SEO course from Alicia Little's website. Okay. And we started, obviously, from then on, we progressed to um, searching on Google and YouTube just to keep building, um, advance. Yeah. 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 So everybody is saying, um, you guys are such a beautiful company. And couple sorry i was reading something else and you know they're saying hi to him so thanks for sharing that and thanks for bringing him on tosh at this time times like these we need great stories like this to keep motivating and inspiring us so some of the the services that you said that you're providing online um seo like doing search engine optimization you guys are now taking up web design and you're doing transcription so anything um anything else any other tips that you want to leave us with everybody that's building a business um you know give us some tips tell us what your what your what's your tip for everybody talk to everybody um 
tips, I would say just keep going. I think that's the one I tend to say in the group a lot. Um, consistency is the key. Um, because like I said, I started in 2019. And when I started, when I joined in 2018, I didn't do anything. I probably did one thing. And then 2019, last year, November, I started doing something consistently. Even if I didn't have job, I would do the same thing. I would log on to the website. I'll log on to the platforms. I would check. And different platforms are different. So you have to check their, um, their, their, their rules and regulations for starters. And you have to see how they work. Some platforms, um, they Upwork and, and Fiverr, they, they're different where you have to, to um, submit a request where a client puts their post. And then you have to send in the offer. And whereas, the, uh, you know, they're all different. So I was consistently sending in offers. And, you know, I put the, the 10, day, 10, uh, 10 days uh, 10 offers a day rather i would make sure i i max it out and i word my my offers correctly and every single day i did something the same way i created my workspace i told myself mentally and i'm a christian so i had to ensure i prayed about my business before i started the work and i prayed about my clients before i actually got them so I just ensured I had that consistency in everything I did. And even if I was let down, I would pick myself up, which is something we always hear. But it's it's always, it's a challenge when it actually happens that you're, something puts you down. Like I actually had my first order cancellation. I cried. <laughs> I cried. I'm like, what's going on? Messing up me. Why? What have I done? <laughs> so I, I just, you know, I asked a few people and I said, it's part of the, it's part of the process. Whatever you do in life, it's not about you. It's not about what you've done wrong. People always refuse or will say no to what you said. I think Les Brown has a saying that say some people say no so many times before they say yes. So yes. it's not sometimes it's not about you as a, you as a personality. It's what it is is maybe just them or they're just looking for an excuse to say no to you. And then um, communication. Uh, Alicia says, communicate and uh, communicate. When Alicia always said, communicate over deliver, those are things I've always done in life. I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> I don't think it's a negative way of looking. But I over deliver in everything I, I do. And I communicate. I will just message you. Just, I'll be, you know, I'll be there in a minute. You know, I'll do this. Whatever it is, however small, I'll communicate until sometimes I'll feel like I actually communicate too much until Alicia confirmed that there's nothing like over communication. So I thought, brilliant, I'm safe then. <laughs> <laughs> you're, safe. you're safe. And you know, I know that uh, you're in the UK and we've got quite a few people from the UK listening in right now, or you're living in the UK now, but you're from Tanzania originally. And I, I know that this is something that you really, you said to me multiple times, like, I really want people from Tanzania to know that they can create their own opportunities as well. So talk to your people for a minute and give them some inspiration. Oh, Tanzania, my lovely, lovely country. I wish if there's somebody on watching this live is from Tanzania, I would love to keep in touch with you because um, one of my dreams and my vision, as I say, as a Christian, is to help eradicate poverty in the third world countries. And um, fortunately for me, I suppose, I'm going to be a bit biased and I want to start in my own country and then roll it out to other countries. So, uh, yes, and I know in my country, we, we, we have the disadvantage of not speaking English properly. So we've got, I've got the added uh, challenge of teaching people English and then teaching people how to use the computer and then teaching them how to do freelancing. And I want to do all that because I'm so passionate about making a difference. <laughs> I um, love that. I love that so much. <laughs> and a lot of people are asking how they can get started as well. So I'm just going to put this up on the screen really quickly. Um, but we have a free training coming up on Friday. You can register at freelancingfortunes.com. So I just put that up on the screen. You can see that there. And um, on that training, Tasha, I might ask you to come on that training just because people are looking how they can connect with you. So we'll talk about that um, on that free training. So make sure that you guys join that free training. And hey, Les asked this in the beginning, but do me a favor. If you know someone who really could... Um, or is in need of creating their own economy when we're talking about creating their own opportunities online and building an online business, go ahead and share this video with them right now. You know, Les, he always says, like and share, like and share. So yeah. 
submitted and like and share, please. Taj, good job. Um, Lawrence says, I'm I'm listening, Tosh. I'm from Zambia, right? And you've got um, Ike from um, Botswana listening, right? And then you've got jo Joe, maybe? Greetings from Germany. <laughs> Michael says your English is stellar. And Nancy says, God bless you, Tosh, right? Um, Shala says, so great, Tosh. God bless so really, you've inspired uh, a lot of people. So <laughs> look at you laughing. So good job. Good job. And I'm really, really happy that you joined us here today. Tell David that we said thank you. And we'll, everybody will come back and talk to you on Friday. Thank so you. He sent, he sent his love. He's saying, he's saying thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Of course. Of course. If you guys have not registered for the free training, make sure that you do that now. And I'm going to bring on Amanda now. So Tosh, just a minute. I'm going to let you go. <laughs> Although that smiling face, I don't know. You're bringing so much joy to people today. So thanks for that. Um, Amanda. Hi, Amanda. How are you? Uh, you're muted, so unmute yourself really quickly. Okay, hi, Alisa, everybody. <laughs> hi, Amanda, how are you? I am doing great today. Thank you so much for having me here. And you're joining us from where, Amanda? I am from Jamaica as well. Okay, all right, welcome, welcome. Now you've heard um, so many stories and you know uh, all or most of these amazing ladies who've spoken to us today. So why are you here, Amanda? What are you going to tell us about? <laughs> I'm basically the same thing. I am a teacher by profession and I have always had this aspiration of owning my own business. And I normally have a lot of time and I'm normally on social media and when I got this opportunity two years ago to be a part of the freelancing journey, I went on board and I have no regrets since. <laughs> so I am, I am happy to say that, yes, I am an online entrepreneur. And um, during my journey, my two years journey, I have amassed a lot of skills, a lot of knowledge. And I owe it all to you, Alicia, and your team. Oh, thank you. Tell us a little bit about the the things or the services that you sell online. I'm always seeing your screenshots on Facebook where you're just like, I made $200. I made $300. You're always like, but tell us a little bit about the services that you provide online. Like Raina talked about being a VA and social media and Tosh talked about transcription and SEO and website design and Layton talked about transcription. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Okay, so I double in everything because as soon as you put up a course, I'm always on it. I'm always one of the first persons to sign I up. <laughs> um, right, because I have a friend, Lakeisha. As soon as they're up, she will say, Amanda, there's a course up, and I'll just go ahead and purchase the course. So basically, I have purchased everything. Um, but I offer a lot of services on, 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 on Fiverr and online services as well. I offer transcription. I presently have one order, just one order only, that is um, $450, and I'll be delivering that in less than five days. I offer social media management, and that is my love currently. I offer graphic designs, and I'm a virtual assistant as well. I place a lot of posts online showing persons the success that I've had um, via Fiverr. And during the COVID period, I am seeing a huge amount of persons asking me for help online. And I have earned a lot of large sales during the COVID period. And I don't know, but during this time, it was just pretty hectic. Right now, I have a social media management job for a client that I've been working on for weeks. And she increased my earnings from $150 US per week to $300, $300 US per week. So she has actually, she, I was actually managing her Facebook account, but she has actually given me her Instagram account currently. So that's why I have increased to $300 per week, just from social media management. <laughs> I am a virtual assistant as well, because I 
I dabble in everything, as I said. So I have clients who review my fiber profile, they review my online accounts, they review my social media platforms, and they will come to me and say, hey, Amanda, I noticed that you do social media management. Do you also do graphic designs? And based on that, then I can actually upsell to my clients and offer more services to them. And then in the long run, I get long-term clients. So that is some of the things that I've been doing to become successful online. Wow. Everybody go, Amanda. And wow. And so you're coming from being a teacher to now offering these services online and having your own business. Tell yes. us, tell us, what's your best month been like so far? Your best week? What What's that been so far earning wise? It always, you know, helps people to get a sense of what they could do. Okay. So um, let me just give an example of the, my best earning just from one client. I got a job to do proofreading of a book that was being written at a university in Antigua. And um, I got 2,500 euro from that alone, just to read over the manuscript and ensure that everything was correct. The sentences were properly structured. I got 2,500 euro from that alone. And uh, my best one, because remember I'm a teacher, while I was doing my, my online business, I was teaching just the same. So it was very difficult for me to do anything online during the days. So I offered my service. I normally do my work during the night or after I leave work. And um, basically, just by doing this alone at the night, in the night, I was able to make maximum $1,800 alone just from Fiverr per month. Okay. <laughs> So with even with the proofreading, I know it's a teacher, that's probably something that, you know, you said, okay, this is something that I could do. But what we've heard from so many people is that there's just so many different things to do. How do you identify what you want to do? Is it just what you're passionate about? You've taken so many courses. How do you identify what it is you want and what service you want to offer to clients globally? Honestly, Alicia, it's my client, the clients motivates me and the clients drives me to learn more, honestly, because I have all these skills that you have offered. I know the knowledge and I can offer all these services. But when a client comes to me, for example, the current client that I have and says to me, hey, Amanda, I want you to be my virtual assistant and I want you to do just Facebook alone for me. But typically how I am, I like to upsell my services because I know that I'm capable. So I would say to these clients, okay, um, do you offer services on Instagram or on LinkedIn or so forth? And um, based on my input and based on my recommendations, they will go ahead and they will say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this and I will have you do this for me. So it's basically how my clients, you know, the, the needs of my clients and what they require from me that allows me to do this stuff. I, I am passionate about social media management and graphic designs. But I have persons come to me for transcription. And one of the things that I do with transcription, because I offer blog, blogs as well, SEO blogs, and I'm really good at it because I have clients consistently coming to me for it. I have this client from Ireland, and he comes to me every week for me to write blogs for his website. And that's every week. And sometimes he comes to me with three blogs per week. And... It, it has a variety of prices. It could range from like $35 US to like $70 US per blog. And he's coming to me every week for that. So what I do with transcription, whenever I have a client that comes to me and I know that they are going to put this on a website, I will say to them, would you like me to convert this into a blog for you? And they will say, oh, you do blogs? And I say, yes. And then, you know, go ahead and I write it. And if, the, for example, I review their website and I say, hey, your website needs to be up, updated or you need to update this graphic or something on the website. So I said, hey, I can do that for you. <laughs> yeah, so um, as I said before, I have a lot of skills and I don't utilize all my skills, but I do know what to do. And I can give an example as well. I have a client, a virtual assistant client as well. She came to me and she said, Amanda, I have a website and I would like to you create a website for me. No, I was scared because I don't like to do something that I'm not comfortable doing. But at the same time, I like the challenge of, you know, going out and doing something different. 
yes, I was trained to be a website, but it's not a service that I offer all the time. So it's not something that I, you know, I'm competent into, you know, fully. So I said, okay, let me give it a try. And just by going into the website and just doing the stuff, I got it back so fast. I actually finished the working lesson and oh, and she was so impressed. She gave me a huge tip. <laughs> <laughs> How does it make you feel that you're your own boss right now, Amanda? Um, it's 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 amazing because um the personality that I have, I I think I'm a boss. I was born to be a boss. Well, let me just stop um, right here. How many of you have that same boss personality? Like you were born to be a boss. Just write in the comments, say born to be a boss or hashtag boss. Let's see how many people I can identify with that. Keep going. Yes. So um, Lorette actually um, assigned me a hashtag. She said, whenever you're posting, you should always use boss lady. So um, <laughs> yeah. So um, I call myself boss lady because um, you have to inspire yourself. You have to speak life into yourself and into your business. And um, being a boss, it's it's so amazing. Um, I'm married, and my husband is in the tourism in, industry as well. So you know that he's been laid off for a couple of months. And just by my freelancing earnings, I'm able to you know assist him wherever he needs assistance. And he has not been lacking anything at all. So you know, working as a boss, working as my own entrepreneur work, running my own business has been amazing i set my own time if i feel like i don't want to work today i just get some persons get them to work for me if i feel like i want to work tonight i work tonight if i feel i want to go and watch netflix right now i can do it it's just the sense of independence and being able to manage your own time and being able to work on your own time that makes this journey so amazing now you said <laughs> very similar to what Josh had mentioned in your stories. You said your husband um, was laid off because of COVID-19, right? So yes. now with your freelancing business, you're the one that's making the money for the household, correct? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So um, what? how does he feel about your freelancing business? Let's hear this one. He, he supports me 100%. He supports me completely. Um, he's like my right hand. He's like my partner in crime. Um, there are times when I have days where I'm very, um, I'm very, you know, I'm very strained with a lot of work. And there are times when I'm getting very exhausted and he will be here with me and he's, you know, he's supporting me and he will be talking to me. And there are things that I can't do. So for example, if I have social media work to, you know, schedule out for clients, I will say, um, you know, honey, can you send, can you put that post out for me 12 o'clock today? And he will say, okay, no problem. I'll get some sleep and he'll do that for me. But he has been very supportive throughout the entire process. Um, anything at all that I need, he gets for me. If I need a device, if I need um, an, an, an accessory to perform my tasks or my job, he gets those for me. So it's very supportive. Yeah. I love that. I love that. So um, for a lot of people are asking how they start. So I'm going to put this back up on the screen and I just want you guys to either click the link in the chat or take a screenshot of your screen really quickly. And it's just register for a free training, freelancingfortunes.com. Um, but a lot of people, I'm glad that you guys are really excited about that. I'm going to bring back all the ladies that we have spoken to today. Um, and I'm going to ask John Leslie to John Leslie Brown to come back on and help us to close this out. But one of the things that I love is that you ladies, and I'm bringing you back on the screen now, is you inspired so many people. And if you just look in the comments, you can look after this is over, but if you look in the comments, so many people are saying that you've inspired me. Um, great advice. You guys have given a lot of really great advice. And um, we love the stories of those of you who've had, you know, the difficult times with COVID and that your online businesses have really uh, expanded and, and really built up during this time. And then um, Tosh and Amanda, oh, I need to bring Amanda back on your stories of how your husband's both unemployed during COVID-19 and now, you know, you are using your freelancing business to support the household. And Tosh, your, your husband um, now is a freelancer and he's not going back to his nine to five. Amanda, you need to make sure that your husband listens to uh, David 
give his presentation here today. So very powerful. Thanks for the inspiration. Before we ask you ladies, I just want you to give um, everybody listening like three tips or three things that they can walk away uh, from this presentation with that will help them to start their own online businesses. But before that, I'm going to ask uh, John Leslie. John, you've heard these ladies talk about their stories, inspiring. They've inspired so many people from all over the world. Um, what do you think when you hear these stories about, you know, freelancing and working for yourself and being your own boss and just using simply a laptop and internet connection, your skills and some knowledge to completely have this amazing online business? Yes, I, I think it's fantastic. It's very inspirational because that one thing they all have in common is an opportunity mindset. Yes. And uh, Jim Rowan has a quote that I love. He said, your life, my life, the lives of each and every one of us will serve as either a warning or an example. And there are so many warnings going on in the world right now. It's great to have some positive examples in terms of what's possible, how you can keep continue to keep going and to monetize your skill set in this global economy. So thank you all for the inspiration that you are for sharing that with the fans uh, around the globe and we appreciate you. I hope everyone's going to freelancingfortunes.com and signing up to be a part of the class that Alicia is teaching this Friday. <laughs> Thank you. Layton, really quickly, your three tips, make one of them the agency model for me, all right? That you don't have to do all the work yourself. Go Layton. All right, so three tips that I have for you guys is you have to have a never give it, giving up attitude. All right, so that means you got to be persistent. Remember, I don't have a university degree. I don't even have a um, um, high school certificate, but I do it, so I know you can do it too. And my agency model, it was started because I wanted more time for me and my kids. So I decided instead of me sitting down and doing the work all the time, I decided that I'm going to help others build their business that by giving them a portion of the work, they make some money and I profit as well. And that's how I started my agency model. Okay. Raina, three tips. I think that you should always keep yourself motivated. Never stop learning new things and never give up. Keep that, like Layton said, keep that positive attitude no matter what. Show up every day show up every day. Yes, Tosh. Let's hear it, Tosh. Can yeah. you hear us? I think we're going to unmute. Yes. All right. <laughs> Three tips. Um, oh, be consistent. Um, mm -hmm. Educate yourself because I'm, I'm like an, a junkie when it comes to courses. I take courses like left, right and center. I have to be stopped to take courses. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so. Um, and then obviously uh, outsourcing, another one is, is a very good one because that's how you grow the business. It, it is. All right. I'm going to go to Amanda, but you can tell David if he'd like to come on and give his tips to come back on camera and give his tips. Is he? All right. yeah. Amanda, let's hear your tip. Okay. So my three tips are the first one is do not make any excuses. If you, if you are passionate about this, if you actually want this, then you have to push yourself to get this. There's no excuse if you want something. Um, the next thing, you have to be dedicated. Um, you have to commit yourself. If you want to make a business, you have to sacrifice something and time is very important. And the next thing that I would say is make time for your business, invest in your time, invest in your skills, invest in yourself and you will and you shall be successful. Love it, love it. All right, David, <laughs> three tips um, that you wanna leave everyone with or strategies, right. just three things, yes. Right, well, Tash will tell you, I, I struggle to keep it down, but um, I think the three are, don't be afraid if it's small to start with. You know, start small, uh, it doesn't matter, it will build big. If you're doing the right things, eventually you'll get the right money. Um, secondly, um over deliver even if it's only a little bit just give a little bit more than you have to i think that's one that uh, les does as well i think we, we heard that and um lastly was remind me please oh, oh she's gone i just yeah. told it to her oh, yeah. um, 
I wasn't prepared to come on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough, it's rough. Well, we I think one of the great things that you told us is that as if you're working together as a couple to really be able to compromise. And I think that was a big tip that everybody got, yeah, like absolutely. work well yeah. together. Um, oh, everybody geez. got that great tip. <laughs> That's what it was. Communication was my favorites as well. Yeah. Um, just make sure you talk to people and, and be reasonable. Yeah, just part of that, that compromise thing. Be reasonable. You know, you, you can't win it 100%. Don't try to necessarily. But if you get 95, then you're not going to I love it. it. I love it. All right. And Les, that's it. We're a wrap. Look at that hair. I love your haircut. <laughs> can you turn to the side a little bit for us so we can see? Come on, turn to the side. Give us a side view. <laughs> you, remember the, you remember the movie House Party? I do. That's what That's what you're going for? That's the look you're going for? Yeah, and, the, and, the, and the character Kid? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> got it. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. And I love it. All right, uh, Len. Well, these you. ladies and David joined us and they over delivered. So thank you so much for providing the platform for them to share their stories and motivate and inspire everyone else. They've impacted so many people globally today. So thank you, ladies and Les. Thank you for providing the platform for them to do it. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Listen, thank all of you for participating and, and sharing with people your personal story, how this is working for you. Now more than ever, people need hope, but they also need a process, a system that allows them to rebuild their lives financially. So we thank you very much. Did a great job, Alicia. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> Just a reminder, everybody, freelancingfortunes.com. Sign up on that webpage and make sure that you share this video. So share it with anybody that you know that's in need, needs some motivation and inspiration or strategies for building their own online business. Bye. <laughs>